joining the dark side by building a high-powered e-bike. All the electronics used in this video are from Core e-bikes. And if you want a kit for yourself, click the link in the description and use Polo5 at checkout for a discount. Enjoy the video. I've been dreaming about this for months. This is a 52 volt, 2000 watt hub motor kit. Let's unbox it. All right, we got the grips and the Suron throttle, the Sinwave speed controller, the UK C1 display, instructions, and finally, a hub motor. Now that we have all these parts, we need a frame to put them on. And for that, I'm headed to my local bicycle co-op to buy a frame. After searching through the bicycle graveyard, I located a giant ATX. It was pretty banged up, but the frame was still in usable condition. Once I got home, I began disassembling my frame so I can paint it. But before we can paint, we have to prepare the frame by sanding it down. Once that was complete, we masked off some of the important bits on the frame and we laid down our first coat of primer. After a few more coats of primer, it was finally time to paint the frame. And for that, I got a glossy white paint. And finally, we put on our clear coat and it's time to build. Now that the cranks are done, it's time to prepare the fork. All you have to do is thread this little star nut on and tap it into the fork. Now that that's complete, we can slide it into our frame and install our spacers and stem. And once we slide the bars in, we can finally assemble our cockpit. Starting with the brakes, I'm using the Shimano MT200s, and it's paired with a full twist Suron throttle. This right grip was being an absolute pain to get on, but the left one was pretty easy. And halfway through this build, I put the first scratch in my brand new bike. But now it's time to put in the hub motor and the torque arm. It was a little confusing trying to figure out what spacers to use, but I ended up going with the torsion ring, the torque arm, and then the bolt. Now that the rear wheel is in, it's time to throw on the front wheel and the chain. And now we're waiting for the delivery man to bring me the battery. And now we finally got the battery. Let's unbox. This is a 52 volt, 35 amp hour battery. But before we can mount the battery, we have to mount the ESC. And for that, I made a custom mounting plate to make everything more secure. It uses the bottle cage bolts and it straps around the seat tube. And now that the ESC is in, it's time to do a little bit of cable managing. And now that the entire build is done, we can finally throw in the battery. And now we get to plug it in and see if it powers on. And now the only thing left to do is stare at it. Since I don't want to get hurt on my brand new e-bike, I invested in some riding gear. I got a full face helmet, goggles, and new riding gloves. All right, enough yapping. Let's go ride this bike. All right, so here is the bike. Ooh. Dude, that never gets old, bro. <sighs> All right, let's do a little launch. Oh my God. We are cooking right now. Little curb hop. <laughs> You never want to ride down the main roads. So let's go down the second main road. All right, let's hit some dirt. We 
are flying right now. Oh, oh, ah, jump. I love the fact that this bike has pedals. It makes it feel 10 times more street legal. Like if you're going through a neighborhood, just start pedaling. Except everyone's freaking on e-bikes these days, so this is nothing compared to the Surons and stuff you see out here. Dude, this is incredible speed. We're not even maxed out right now. I think if I do crash, it'll be on loose gravel and I'll just slide out and cry. I'm about to hit a flyby on my friends. In this video, I built a 2000 watt e-bike from the ground up. I also took it on its first test ride and didn't crash or get arrested. And make sure you check out Core e-bikes. I linked all the products I use from them in the description below. Thank you all for watching and ride safe.